do you wear scented pads because if you do i'm telling your mother i know there's a lot of you guys that love juice i love juice too like juice is really good but juice is not good on your period okay she a bad thing she a bad thing you know she gave me good feels couple moves so you know i had to pick her up like some blue strings so you know i gotta hit her up when she blows me yeah, yeah. hey guys welcome back to my channel i know i've been gone for a really long time but this is how we're gonna handle it. This is how we're gonna handle me and discipline me for being gone for so long. Come in, come in a little closer, just a little bit. Come on, up close and personal. We're not gonna talk about it. So today's video is gonna be how to stay fresh all day while on your period. I know a while back I did a video on how to stay fresh all day when you're not on your period, but you know, I just come through with the tips. Like, I'm your girl for the tips. Period. Period. So I'm not gonna waste no more time. I'm talking too much already. So let's get straight into the video. So the first piece of advice I have is to stop wearing those scented pads. Do you wear scented pads? Because if you do, I'm telling your mother. Your vagina is self-cleaning. It does not need any scents to go up there to make it smell good. And you also have to think about when they make those pads and those tampons, they're adding chemicals. So you mean to tell me you want chemicals up there? Is that what you want? you're dirty but listen okay we're just gonna keep it real we're gonna keep it honest we don't want any problems okay because as soon as you start using these scented pads these scented tampons you got to go to the OBGYN, and then now's not a good time to just be out and about because you know you got rona circling in the air recently i made the switch over to organic pads and organic tampons and i'm going to show you the ones that I use. So the organic pads that I use are by One for One. I got these at Target for $10.99. And honestly, at first I thought, hmm, making the switch over to organic is gonna cost me more money because they're organic. But no, they literally cost the same price. Like always, which they be putting chemicals in their pads, just letting you know. And I, oh. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I wasn't using always up until like two months ago. But listen, I made the switch over to these organic pads and organic tampons by the Honey Pot. And I honestly feel like I just have less cramps. I have less bleeding. I don't know what it is. It could just be all in my mind, but I honestly feel like I, it's just been a whole 360. The girl loves it, okay? So, Organic pads look a little bit different than regular pads. Like, I'm gonna show you. For example, always looks like more spongy, right? These are actually like cotton. So they look like this. These organic tampons, same thing. Let's imagine like this pad rolled up into a tampon, you know? You get what I'm saying? Honey bot. The honey bot. The honey bot. The honey bot. Stop it. Get some help. The Honey Pot is also a great brand. Um, I have so much to say about the Honey Pot. At this point, they should honestly sponsor me because, you know, I'm here throwing out free clout for the Honey Pot. Like, this isn't the only product that I've used by the Honey Pot. That's just a little piece of advice. I know it's not a way to stay fresh all day, but it's just a piece of advice to make the switch. It'll be better for you. While we're on the topic of pads and tampons, you want to make sure that you're changing them regularly. They say that you can wear like a pad up to, I want to say two to three hours. I'll have to double check that. And when I do find out, I will put it down here somewhere so that you guys can see. But I want to say like two to three hours. And I think a tampon like six to eight hours, but I don't think you want to have a tampon up there for six to eight hours. Like I say to do it the same way as a pad, like change it every two to three hours. Don't think because you're not bleeding a lot that you don't have to change your pad or your tampon that often. Same rules apply. Just so you can add like a little bit of freshness in between changes, you can use like a little baby wipe or you can use the Honey Pot has wipes. Use Honey Pot wipes in between changes. So the next thing that I will say that you need to do regularly while you're on your period, hopefully you guys are doing this, make sure that you're taking a shower at least two to three times a day. I just think when you're on your period, once a day is not enough. 
that's my personal opinion i'm not a doctor but i just say once a day is just not enough so with that being said i would say like probably like once when you wake up and then once when you're going to sleep or once in the morning once in the afternoon if you're going out or going to work or something and then once at night make sure that you're using unscented soap down there and we use unscented soap when we're not on our period and the same rule applies when we're on our period okay unscented soap only those body washes that make the entire house smell good body only i promise you i can promise you if you think you're bold and you're about that life and you want to use body wash down there the odor is gonna slap you in the face okay and then after your shower since we're still on the topic of showers after your shower you can apply some perfumes on your body do not spray anything up your vagina please don't do it i don't know if i've been counting my points that i've been making but we're on the fourth one okay so wear breathable underwear okay no matter what period or not see like the same rules apply okay the same rules apply period or not like your vagina always needs to breathe okay that's why they say don't sleep with any underwear when you're on your period think about it if you're wearing like non-cotton underwear for example right hear me out hear me out real let me reel you in real quick if you're wearing non-cotton underwear and you think you want to be cute and wear the little silk ones without the cotton crotch you're asking for trouble sis target got the grannies walmart has the grannies um i even think victoria's secret has the grannies just rock the grannies for that one week just one week and then it'll all be over okay rock the grannies they will help you out the cotton grannies to be exact also make sure that you're drinking a lot of water when you're on your period okay water is just overall good for you and it just cleanses you from the inside out you can see like everybody knows like whenever you start drinking water your skin starts to look better um your skin starts to feel softer like water is just overall good for you so you just want to make sure that you're also drinking a lot of water when you're on your period okay i know there's a lot of you guys that love juice i love juice too like juice is really good but juice is not good on your period a lot of people don't like water because it has no taste every day i feel like i need to have at least two to three bottles of water okay and like you can even start small if you're not a water drinker like just drink a cup just one cup just just gulp it down just go gulp it down just for the one time okay and then after a couple days you know increase it to two cups then three and maybe a gallon eventually but make sure that you're drinking your water while you're on your period I hope these tips were helpful. I hope that you guys are able to apply some of them. Make the switch over to organic pads because they're the best. Do it! Just do it! And tampons if you wear tampons. Get them from Target. You can get them from Target. Always is not good for you. Do not wear always. So yeah, I hope you found these tips helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. So I was gonna end the video, okay? But I found out one more thing. I had one more tip, okay? So you also wanna make sure that you're eating healthy. Like, you know they say you are what you eat? That's the truth, okay? Make sure you're eating your veggies. Make sure that you're eating, you know, protein. Make sure that you're eating healthy so that you smell good. Like eat fruits too. Just try to take care of yourself when you're on your period, okay? The more you take care of yourself, the less the odor, the better you feel, the better you are, less cramps. It's just a ripple effect, okay? Do good and your body will appreciate you. Okay, now we're ending the video. Bye, guys.